this video today i'll tell you how to confirm salicylic acid in previous series you have seen many of the compounds and you might have noticed that the steps are similar so here also you have to start with a flame test uh, take the compound on the glass rod and observe how does it react with the flame it gets burnt and if it is with white flame or with the black flame if it is a black flame a sooty flame is there or the compound becomes black gets deposited on the rod then that compound would be aromatic in nature so here if the compound is salicylic acid you will observe this kind of black soot on the glass rod also if you want to see the sooty flame you can take it in a more amount and then uh, you can keep it on a porcelain piece so that your substance directly gets heated in the flame and you can notice a a black color amount of the flame like sooty flames or smoky flame here this black soot uh, further confirms that the compound is aromatic so with the help of a flame test first you will be able to understand whether the compound is aliphatic or aromatic now further ado you can do uh, is that you have to take the compound and dissolve it in water now being in aromatic it is not going to easily dissolve so just heat it a bit and then it will be dissolved to the solution you have to add sodium bicarbonate to it now once you add sodium bicarbonate what will happen it will react with the compound and obviously if it is acidic coh group is present then the co2 will be released so here you can observe the effervescence due to the release of co2 gas so that effervescence further confirmed now what you can do is co2 is released coh is confirmed if it is acidic then you can go for a litmus test also take the compound dissolve it in water and add a litmus paper to it blue color if turns red then that confirms that the compound is acidic the functional group is coh that we already confirmed now to finally confirm that it is salicylic acid you have uh, confirmed that it is aromatic then coh group then acidic so salicylic acid you can confirm easily by addition of neutral fecl3 solution so what you have to do is you have to add a fecl3 solution and as soon as you add you will get a violet color the deep violet color confirms that the compound is salicylic acid in case of benzoic acid it is brown color buff color but in case of salicylic acid due to this reaction a violet complex is formed so i guess with that you are able to confirm how a salicylic acid is doing the results